Hey, Jonathan here, Colfax High Mill and Woodshop, making Mother's Day signs out of cedar wood we've milled ourselves. Um, so this is our cedar board. I rip a straight edge on the track saw, and then I'm gonna rip a parallel edge on the table saw. However, uh, I still have a lot of moisture and sap in it, and I'm worried the clutch is gonna get popped, so I'm gonna show you how to deconnect, or disconnect the saw stop so you could run um, wet wood. So come over this way. The whole thing has to be turned on first. You have to have your key. You push the key into the lock all the way. As the key turns, you got to turn it 90. Turn it 90 and then turn the saw on. Uh, I let go of the key too early. Let me do that again. So it has to finish the cycle. Turn the key 90. Turn the saw on. Give it a second, let the key go. Now it's flashing green, meaning there is no saw stop safety involved in here. So it's a very dangerous tool now, like a regular table saw. Flashing green means the clutch mechanism will not work. You turn it off. Wait till it's done its cycle. And then when you turn it back on again, it's, it's your regular saw stop. I always take this key out and keep the key in a lock cabinet to make sure nobody ever disconnects the clutch mechanism in the high school wood shop. But that's how you do it. Let me do it one more time. So it's running normally. I put the key in. All the way in, turn it 90. Hold it. Turn it on. Give it a second. Let the key go. Now the clutch mechanism or the safety is not working. Okay, hope that helped.